Welcome to Rage X Mods, the channel that's dedicated to bringing you step-by-step -step tutorials and ROM reviews for your Droid X. Today I'm going to be showing you how to root your Droid X, which is already running Gingerbread. This method has also been reported to work with the Droid 3, Droid X2, Droid Pro, Droid 2 Global, the Click, and Click 2. Up until now, us Droid X owners have only been able to have rooted Gingerbread by flashing our phones back to Froyo and loading a pre-rooted version of Gingerbread. With this new one-click program, users who are running completely stocked gingerbread can root their phone in 5 minutes with very little effort. Please note that this will only work on versions of gingerbread that Motorola has not yet patched for this exploit. You'll need a computer for this process to work, but the good news is that it'll work with Windows, Linux, and OS X. To get this program, you'll need to visit the link in the description. You can see in the first post, it mentions that if you're on Windows, you need to scroll down to the second post, and if you're on Linux or OS X, scroll down to the third post. I'm running Windows, so we'll go to the second post. If you don't already have Motorola drivers, you'll need to download and install them now, either the 64-bit or the 32-bit, depending on your version of Windows. Next, you'll click on the link for Motorola One-Click Program. Start the download and choose a place to save it. Navigate to the folder that you downloaded it to. Right click and extract here. Now we need to get your phone ready. Pick it up and press Menu, Settings, Applications, Development, and Enable USB Debugging. Tap OK. Now plug your phone into your PC with the USB cord. When it shows that it's connected, pull down the status bar and tap on USB connection. Tap charge only and then OK. Set your phone down and close the annoying Verizon page on your PC. Open up the program Motorola One Click Root that you just downloaded. The program should automatically detect your phone after a few seconds and say running exploit step one of three rebooting phone. Your phone will now reboot a few times during this process. Some users have reported that the phone may boot up into bootloader mode, which is a black screen with white writing. If this happens, unplug the phone, power the phone off, then power the phone back on. When you see the Motorola logo, plug the phone in so that the program can continue with the rooting process. Just so you don't miss any parts of the process, I'll let the video continue and show you how to verify that you have root.
Once the process is done, it'll say congratulations, your phone should now be rooted, press any key to exit. You can now unplug your phone and go into the app drawer. If you see the super user icon, you should now be rooted. You can use root only apps and install custom ROMs that are meant for the kernel that you're on, in this case 4.5.602. If this video helped you, make sure you subscribe so you can check out more step-by-step -step tutorials and ROM reviews.